Today we'll be discussing about the behavioral sciences in dentistry. The behavioral sciences main part is sociology. The de definition given by WHO is state that it is uh, it's a complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely an absence of disease, health. So, it includes the word sociology. The social word comes to, uh, when it comes, it means that the person should be socially active in a social group or in a community or an institution. Coming to the behavioral sciences, social environment is as important as the physical and biological environment as we have discussed in our concept of disease uh, thing that ecological, medical and holistic concept while psychosocial concept also that it the it plays a major role be in being healthy. Any maladjustment in any of this that is physical environment and in your biomedical environment may lead to a disease. The social sciences are of four types. These are sociology, cultural anthropology, social psychology and political sciences. The first three together are called as uh, behavioral sciences. Coming to sociology, it is the word derived from Greek which means uh, socio means society and logos means science. So it is the, basically the study done on society. Socially, uh, sociology deals with the study of human relationship, it deals with the human uh, behavior, study of human relationship, human behavior, both for the better understanding of the pattern of human life. These are the structural aspects of uh, society. Coming to community, uh, a society, structural aspect, uh, coming to a community, community are the group of people which are uh, around as in residential area or we are making our community like uh, associations or various are the like uh, so social groups, societies, society, we do society meetings so that the people in the societies can be together. Then there are social institutions where we will meet lots of people, we can uh, encourage our uh, health values, these are hospitals. Uh, schools, various institutions, study institutions, etc. Social groups are like the association which people form so that the people from different places can be uh, together. Like uh, for the example, you have our Indian Intel Association from various uh, parts, we have a social group. There are functional aspects of social uh, society are social norms, customs and habits, etiquettes and conventions and social values. Coming to our social norms, these are the rules that group uses for the appropriate values, beliefs and uh, behaviors. They are of three types, folk ways, um, mores and taboos. Folk ways are the things which we have learned from very early uh, things. Now these are the folk ways. Uh, it's not the law which a uh, strict law which we have to follow. For example, in India it is said that Atiti Deva Bhava means that the uh, guests are considered as a god. But if you don't follow these rules, you will not be get punished. In fact, the people will be normal to you. Either they will scold you or they will laugh at you. Whereas most are the folk ways, but they are strictly added to the uh, thing like laws. You can't uh, hit anyone, you can't sleep, uh, slap any, uh, anyone. These are the mores. If you don't follow this, there will be a strict punishment given. Then there are taboos. Taboos are the something which uh, societies have fallen from uh, various uh, aspects. Like banning of beef and pork uh, in some religions and in some religions there is uh, eat, uh, these beef uh, are eaten. I mean to customs and habits. Uh, customs are the traditions which we are followed from uh, last uh, from the very birth or the traditions which has been followed from decades like visiting a temple is a custom which has been followed from our ancestors and from uh, our uh, ancestors. Then there are habits these are the acquired uh, things which can be useful for you or can be harmful for you. Uh, having a cigarette daily is a habit which is harmful for your health effect. Then there are etiquettes and convention. Etiquettes are the something that code the governs the expectation of social behavior within the society and uh, social class or group. For example, using a fork and knife has been uh, used and it has considered as good in the western uh, countries. Whereas in India today, uh, people used to prefer uh, to eat by a uh, hand. Uh, though by an allied group of people. So these are the different etiquettes in different places. Then there are conventions. Convention is a set of agreed, stipulated or generally accepted standards, norms or criteria often taking into customs. Then there are social values are the standards of judgment which things and actions are evaluated as good or bad. Psychology is defined as a study of human behavior of how people behave and why they uh, 
just uh, do like being normal uh, includes abnormal child and applied psychology the main concern of psychology is to study the human behavior or uh, coming to our health behavior any activity undertaken by an individual regardless of his actual perceived health status anything he is pursuing like washing our hands before eating a meal or maintain or uh, bathing daily so that the personal hygiene can be maintained it's a health behavior which uh, every individual has acquired then there is illness behavior it is the interpretation of signs and symptoms of illness especially pain and search for the relief then there are labeling behavior conditions that are visible and that affect the social identity or acceptability of a person this process is influence and response is called as labeling process labeling behavior coming to treatment behavior any things of which can cure you or can be uh, can make you relieve from the pain or uh, pain or any signs or symptoms which you are having is a treatment behavior the attitudes attitudes are the characteristics of an individual and it shows how you are behaving it is uh, include three components cognitive or knowledge and effective or feeling elements tendency to the action attitudes are not learned from the textbook or not taught in a school these are the acquired things which you uh, which you learn as you uh, grow or as you progress learning is a relative permanent change in a behavior uh, that occur as a result of practice and experience it means acquiring something new knowledge new teaching skills new skills new experience for for example learning how to get your uh, teeth clean by proper tooth brushing is a act of learning coming to the other one that is cultural anthropology is a branch dealing with the man's behavior and products there are three main uh, uh, there are main theme in the culture culture is a accumulation of learned behaviors beliefs and skills of a mankind as a whole culture is defined as the training and the refinement of a mind tastes and manners the condition of this being trained and refined now coming to our social sciences in dental public health this is a short note uh, the studies of behavioral sciences they have categorized people uh, into four uh, classes first is upper middle class lower middle class upper lower class and the lower class upper middle class people are the one who are professional uh, with a with a maximum uh, amount of education they believe in preventive procedures they listen to the dentist very carefully if they visit to a dentist whatever he will say they will listen they will follow and they will have a regular dental checkup they are more concerned about their total uh, dental health or uh, general health and dental health they will listen they will acquire the knowledge which uh, uh, the dentist or any doctor will give so these are the professional persons whereas lower middle class are called as white collar people the, these are people with normal life they will listen to a dentist but not in that way the people uh, when there is something very urgency to them then they only will go to the dentist then there are a lower uh, class these are the semi skilled workers and also called as blue collar workers uh, they will go to a dentist for example if they are having a pain uh, they will have a medicine and then it, they will try to cure but then it is in excess they will go to a, a dentist uh, then there is lower class people these are under privileged and disadvantaged people they will uh, they think that there is neglection of uh, teeth as their whole their uh, part uh, they will try to work individually on their treatment and once they fail to go do their individual treatment by eating medicine or by eating something which can relieve them from temporary pain uh, then after when the things are not being worked properly then they will visit to a dentist these are the underprivileged and disadvantaged people in the society or uh, try tart in year 1967 has given this and uh, Uh, categories attitudes of underprivileged uh, towards the first is castration complex this uh, is developed as a uh, when they are having a tremendous amount of fear that if you go to a dentist uh, he will do the things which is not needed also then there is contradiction of common sense the people thinks that uh, if you go uh, if someone has gone a treatment uh, the doctor prescribe a medicine for 5 days now after 2 days when the patient gets cured they think that the there is no point of uh, eating medicine for rest of the 3 days 
then coming in crowd some uh, the lower class peoples uh, they feel that uh, if they visit uh, through a dentist individually they will be neglected these are mostly done by underprivileged people that they will go with friends or will go with the family so that they can be easily noticed and uh, they think that when they will go into in the crowd the treatment will be given good last ditch efforts are the things which i have explained earlier suppose we are having a dental pain or uh, this dental pain they will try individually everything which can cause them uh, no pain at the last moment they will visit to a dentist and then they have no choice of uh, rather than extracting or doing a pulp therapy if it hurts you are a quack uh, some people quack uh, these are the people's tendency that uh, they think that the dental and medical procedures should be painless if it hurts they think that the doctor is unprofessional or he is quack Unclean or dirty feelings, the maintenance of personal hygiene as well as the cleanliness in the uh, dental clinic should be very important. It will reflect that the the dental clinic is not uh, clean. They think that the dentist won't work normally. So best is uh, in if you uh, overcome all such patients, you always you should always wash your hands before treating them. Then their clinic was built here, not there. So some people have this tendency that. if you really wanted to be a good dentist you would have opened your clinic there but not here then there are some people with cold professional attitudes they just think that the uh, dentist is there for their treatment we will pay and we will go difference in pain threshold some people have different pain threshold uh, same procedures applied to everyone some has less pain threshold some has more uh, pain pain thresholds complication to the of the unknown as the another uh, uh criteria described appointments don't work are the common uh, thing this uh, underprivileged people thinks that any time we can go to a dentist and he will get a, a work our work done teeth lost any how is the other thing that people think that teeth when erupts it is meant to be uh, destroyed so they think that uh, undergoing on the treatment of this teeth won't help With this end we will uh, conclude our uh, this uh, behavioral sciences uh, uh, chapter thank you